In today's episode of Learning Revit, I want to go through rooms, areas, and show you why we calculate those, why you're creating them, how we can create them, how we can edit them, how we can separate a big space. Let's say we have a big conference room, but we want to divide them in two different spaces, and how we can calculate the room, and exactly why we need them for, like how we use those in design. So basically, we're going to go over all the different possibilities that we use room calculation in Revit, and I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and let's jump into Revit. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at room calculating, and it's going to be under the architecture tab under ribbon, go all the way down, you can see the room and area. So basically why we use volume calculation, right? So this is a very powerful feature that serve purposes in architectural design, construction, building management, right? So the main reason is that accurate space analysis. Calculate room volumes helps in understanding uh, in spatial characteristics of a building, like particularly useful for HVAC um, design where air volume is critical for determining a system. So it's very important for the HVAC to see the room and then the, the actual HVAC coverage that is going to be provided for that area. Also, energy efficiency and compliance. So everything goes towards LEED, I mean L-E-E-D. Um, that's why these modeling and understanding the rooms and areas are very important. Plus, a detailed schedule and reports. So it allows you to include room volumes in schedules and tag, tag them. So this is a valuable for creating detailed documentation, cost estimation, and project presentation. Plus, enhanced design precision. So if you know the volume of the room, can assist you on optimizing the design, right, for lighting, acoustics, you know, other environment forces ensuring a better user experience last but not least facility management right so post construction purposes room values can be useful in facility management system to monitor it manage the building performance over time and much more so it's a very very good tool that is going to help us how to do it and i'm going to gonna go through it right now with you guys so what we have at this point is we have a, a, a floor plan so it's only happening on the floor plan you'll be able to see so there's a room separator and actual room. So the room separator is basically if you have a big room and you want to divide it in like a certain space, you can kind of use the divider because by default, the room is going to go and pick only like the walls and everything around that area. So let me click the room. Uh, I'm going to leave the tag placement on. So it's basically tag a room. So you know when I'm going under room is basically selecting that room and it has a tag to place it. You can use place room rooms automatically so Revit is gonna go and basically reviews all the rooms for you uh, to see exactly where you can place all of these items right so any each area or each room that you have it's gonna go and place it if you go let me just try so if I click on this it's gonna say 30 rooms created automatically so if I hover over it and this is going to be the indication of so if i click on it it basically shows me exactly how it's going to be placed right and then if i go to this area on the right left hand side under the properties you can see the area perimeter bounded height volume you know and even much more so let me just go back and then do it manually so i'm going to do room uh, i'm just going to go room by room so i'm going to click this one it's going to place it for me right i'm going to go over here it's going to place another one i'm going to right here and right now let's say i want to have these two rooms separated so what i'm going to do i'm basically going to the room separation so they have a different type of tools you know that basically typical in revit i'm just going to stick with this line and go from here let's say to here so when i'm done and that's it like simply you delete them and right now if i go hover it you can see it's divided into two rooms so i can get the actual uh percentages 
or the grid room calculation calculation for this area um, last but not least sometimes when you create a room it shows that the volume is not computed and that's because you need to fix a setting so if you go to the room and area so area and volume computation so you can see right here is uh, by default or I kind of put it on areas and volume so it's gonna give me everything but sometimes it's just gonna put on area so if I put it on area let me just go back real quick so you guys can see the difference so if I am room and I want to put this area you can see what it says volume not computed so that's because I haven't set it up for volume calculation in order to do so go over here so basically it's going to be the room and areas room and value computations you click on it you simply go area and volume and then hit ok and when it's done it's going to start calculating everything because you need to define for Revit how to calculate that and if I go on this you can kind of see right now let me just put that put two rooms over here that's why it's giving me the issue so let's just put it over here so you can kind of put it on each areas and when you hover over each area and click on it you'll be able the cubic foot right there um, so any area that you kind of hover over and you have the actual room basically give you all the information so the main thing is creating rooms is going to give you a lot of data for your design purposes also is going to help you identify like the energy efficiency like design content and also give you a lot of data to analysis and what we reviewed if you see volume not computed just make sure you go to the settings and adjust the setting under the area and value computation hope that you guys like today's video if you like the content make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching